Okay, Wednesday, 7th of February, 2024. So, a fallacy of misgendering, the whole concept of misgendering. So, this is an interesting little, say, societal observation that I've made over the past, doesn't matter, year or whatever. That humans naturally, for evolution, for our mind, the way we are built, we seek shortcuts. This is what in science is called path of least resistance. Normal, law of science, you name it. Path of least resistance, meaning the shortest route to achieve something, whether physical, taking a shortcut, or figurative, technical, mathematical, whatever, business, anything. There's the, the, the way, the shortest route to achieve something. Okay. So a lot of people, so misgendering, Okay, my, you know, my pronouns are X, Y, Z, A, B, C. Okay, fine. But the thing that I've noticed that we look at people in, in society, in our contemporary world and society we live in, and we, ha we draw expectations of how we should act or what we should expect from them or what we should or should not do around this person or that person or we shouldn't do this or shouldn't do that or this person would talk about this or talk about that or they would be able to physically do X or Y or Z. So if we see, for example, a 10 year old boy, we have expectations of what that person is capable of doing, capable of saying, capable of understanding, versus say, man, a 40 year old man, we would have different expectations of, the, of these two different people. So for example, the 10 year old boy, you know, for example, might need might not need help might need help crossing the road a blind person would need help crossing the road okay so they're going to be a lot slower at crossing the road they're going to be less efficient a little more hesitant and you look at that and you think well it's excusable because blind or they're 10 years old but the same kind of scenario 40 year old man unable to cross the road and you think well he's hesitant like what you assume path of least resistance that there's something wrong with the person because they can't do a simple act like crossing the road. So it's like we look at these different people in different scenarios and we have different expectations of them and we have di we have different excuses in our minds for what the person can or can't do. Again, the blind or the child, unable to cross the road, oh, give them some slack, they don't know what they're doing, the, you know, the, the boy or the, or the blind person you know, can't do it as easily compared to, say, a grown man. Fair enough. So that's an interesting thing. So when we look at people, we have different expectations, what we can or can't say or do, or create plausible deniability, excuses in our minds for them. So misgendering comes along and says, I am this, but treat me like that. So there's a societal, there's an evolutionary mismatch. There's, um, what's the word? Dis dysgenics, dysgenics at play, meaning this does not compute, we could say. This does not make sense. You're a grown man, you should behave like this. You know, you're a 10 year old boy, you shouldn't be doing this or shouldn't be doing that. You know, you're a, a woman, we can visually see, or a man, we can visually see just based on cursory glances. So therefore we come to this conclusion or that conclusion and we say, right, well, you shouldn't be doing this because it's not woman-like, it's not manly, it's not societally acceptable, things like that. So when we see a person over here, a man, say a 40 year old man behaving like this, it doesn't compute dysgenics in our mind. And it's unusual. It's weird. It's like, ah, you can't do that. You shouldn't do that. That's weird. You know, that's what 10 year olds do. That's what you'd be thinking instinctively, evolutionary speaking. This doesn't compute. What's that all about? So this whole mismatch, this societal mismatch is a little observation that I've realized. We have different expectations of people of, of different ages, genders, and other other aspects of life, blind, whatever else. And when there's a mismatch of them, it doesn't work. It doesn't work in our minds, evolutionary speaking, in a societal construct. It's like grown men shouldn't be doing that. Hmm. Okay. So that's one little interesting observation I have. This like fallacy of misgendering of the way we expect people to behave in society and the excuses we create for them, the plausible deniability we create for them in our mind. This is it. This is interesting where, as a quick side note, when you see children who are doing silly things in general and you tend to think, was I like that at that age? 
Well, you know, and you understand why it was so lenient, why people were so lenient towards you as a child, because it's, they, they, have, they have lower expectations. But those same expectations will be a lot higher for a grown man. You know, you hurt, you hurt yourself, oof, and the child would cry, but the man wouldn't cry. There's a big mismatch. Dysgenics. Things aren't computing, evolutionary speaking. And, and it's being expressed in society where that's not right. You know, in terms of um, morality and ethics, that's not right. Shouldn't be doing this. Or even rel uh, moral relativism. That's, but that's another conversation from the time. So that's one interesting little observation I had, this fallacy of the misgendering. So take that as you will. But that's what I've seen. And that's how I interpret and understand it through, a, through an evolutionary psychological view, an evolutionary psychological way. Nice. But otherwise, you will see me tomorrow.